My wife and I recently watched the Netflix series Stranger Things together. It was the first time for her, second time for me. And in case you haven't seen it, it's about the disappearance of a middle school boy named Will Byers in early 80s Indiana. Don't worry, I'm not giving anything away. The first episode is literally called The Vanishing of Will Byers. The series draws on the nostalgia of folks like me, pop culture nerds who grew up in the early to mid 80s. The references in this series come fast and they come furious. From the title card all the way to the story of something otherworldly going on, this thing reeks of Stephen King and Steven Spielberg. You got kids riding bikes to get away from pursuing adults. Hi E.T., how you doing? The most prominent reference for the series as a whole, however, has to be Goonies. The central arc of the entire show is about a group of misfit kids searching for something, except instead of a treasure, it's their friend. Now, hearing that, one might be tempted to think that folks like me are just nerding out because Netflix and the Duffer Brothers threw us some geek nostalgia bones, but you'd be wrong. The beauty of the series is that Stranger Things has successfully managed to capture the spirit of what made all those movies so great. They were about friendship. Perhaps the most important idea in the entire show is the lesson Mike teaches Eleven, the girl who has been locked up in a government facility her entire life. The man Eleven calls Papa has been developing her ability to control the world with her mind and to do, frankly, horrible things with it. It's a messed up relationship, to say the least. And when Eleven encounters Mike, Lucas, and Dustin on a rainy night in the woods, she has no idea what it means to simply be someone's friend. I thought we were friends, you know? We're friends to tell each other the truth. And they definitely don't lie to each other. You made me think Will was okay. That he was still out there, but he wasn't. He wasn't. Everything I said about you being a traitor and stuff, I was wrong. I'm sorry. Friends. Friends don't lie. Friends don't lie is a line and an idea that gets played out all throughout the series. It's a stand-in for the entire constellation of what it means to be in a friendship. We see it when Barb tells Nancy that literally getting into bed with Steve Harrington is a bad idea. We see it when Hopper tries to help Joyce through her grief when he shares his own response to his daughter's death. We see it violated when it's revealed that Will's deadbeat dad Lonnie is back in Hawkins just so that he can try to cash in on his son's apparent death at the rock quarry. So, as cool as the Demogorgon and the Upside Down are, and, and they are, the honest truth is they almost don't matter. The beating heart of Stranger Things is three middle school boys just trying to find their friend. And I don't recall them ever saying that they're looking for him because he'd do the same thing for us. Strangely, their search for Will has almost nothing to do with him. One of the most interesting debates for me to observe is that of the ancient philosophical schools trying to define the characteristics of the ideal human. Of particular fun, and yes I really do mean fun, is the back and forth between the Epicureans and the Stoics regarding this so-called ideal human's ability to be self-content. In one of his letters to his friend Lucilius, the Stoic Seneca writes, The wise man, self-sufficient as he is, still desires to have a friend if only for the purpose of practicing friendship and ensuring that those talents are not idle. Not, as Epicurus put it, for the purpose of having someone to come sit by his bed when he is ill. Anyone thinking of his own interest and seeking out friendship with this view in mind is making a great mistake. What is my object in making a friend? To have someone to be able to die for. Someone I may follow into exile. Someone for whose life I may put up myself as security and pay the price as well. The thing you describe is not a friendship, but a business deal. One of the most touching moments of Stranger Things occurred when Eleven was in the makeshift bathtub trying to locate Will and she got scared. Joyce, Will's mom, enveloped Eleven in her arms and reminded her that it was going to be okay. Here was a mother desperately trying to find her own lost child, and she put that aside for a moment because a scared girl needed her to. 
I'm sure she was thankful for what Eleven was doing, but I don't think that's why she did it. She did it because that's who she is. And that's what friends don't lie really means. It's not a selfish thing, but a self-giving thing. Being someone's friend isn't a business deal. It's not about what you can get. It's about what kind of person you are. Thank you.